Hey everyone, today we're in Connecticut coming to check out the Beaver Swamp and today is June 10th, 2023. I don't even think I posted my April video of this last time we were here. I'm a little behind. It was a big unclogging season. Oh, that is so nasty. That's a dead beaver. We saw that thing when it was like a fresh hit about a month or so back. And then I went ahead and reported this place to the EPA because after many attempts, the Connecticut DOT is not putting up proper structures to protect the beavers. And I reported that they keep getting hit by cars because of the neglect and not knowing how to put structures up. But just driving over, I knew there was gonna be a blockage. Not a big one because there hasn't been that much rain. So they need rain. They will partially clog the culvert a few inches. Water rises. They'll plug more, rises, plug more. Every time basically a beaver dam tops, they keep adding to it. If it's not topping, they don't build it as fast. So you can tell it is lower than normal because the beaver dam is not as big as it's been. But we have a little tiny bit there to get rid of today. So... I gotta go get the big high boots on and grab camera number two and we'll be right back out here in a couple of minutes. So everyone, the reason I report these areas like this to the Environmental Protection Agency is because the beavers keep getting hit by cars and the Department of Transportation in Connecticut just does not care. They should be trapping them, but they're not. So you have to go over the state's head to get them eventually trapped. The problem is, that's a long process. Look how big the beaver swamp over here is. They're just gonna keep coming and coming. That beaver smells so bad walking by it. It's been rotting there for about a month. And that's probably the, I've probably seen half a dozen of them hit at the same location. And they're, and it's been years and years and they have never even attempted to trap them. That's so ridiculous. In my eyes, that's kind of cruel to the animals. If they're near a roadway, they should rightfully be relocated, in my eyes. And that's why I found somebody at the EPA I can keep reporting these issues to. So we're going to set camera number two up right here on the bank. Can't put it in the water, it'll get swept away, although this is not the biggest blast we've ever made here. Good news is, it's been dry in Massachusetts and here in Connecticut for a while and the good news is it's been very cloudy a lot of wildfire smoke meaning temperatures have been cool so the lack of rain isn't that bad at the moment that guy's looking at beavers anyways it hasn't been raining but all next week is rain in the forecast for southern New England that is the good news so I bet there'll be a massive blockage here when once the beavers get that kind of stuff. But by reducing the levels of the pond, you're buying the road time before it starts topping over the top. The first time I ever discovered this place, it was going right over the top, a pretty good amount of water after a storm. All right, All right this, this camera, camera is, is aligned. aligned. And on our way back over to the other side, just to give you guys a better view, rip down a little bit of this grass right here like that good enough let's go to the other side can't believe how hot it feels it's only supposedly 70 right now but it feels so hot this is the old beaver deceiver unit that the DOT gave up on about two years ago see this long pipe it's got holes in the bottom of the T-section. It used to have caps, but maybe someone stole them because they're small. That right there was jammed in the end of the pipe, going way out there, underwater. It's quieter, so beavers usually tend to leave it alone. It allows them to plug this up and keep part of their pond. But beavers didn't realize exactly what it does. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, what are you doing? Unclogging the culvert pipe. State will be by. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Beaver. Yep. Yeah, all the time. Fucking wrecking out bad. Yep. Yeah. Inside a pipe there. 
Yeah, I, I remember they haven't installed that thing in a couple years. Thank you. What? They know you're here? Yeah. State? What? State of Connecticut knows you're here? No, but the EPA does. The EPA knows? Alright, I'm just looking out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I live right there, so. Yeah. Better look out for shit that's going on. Yeah. Um, we're just on clogging the thing. Alright. Yeah. What? I said we appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, um, state comes by pretty much once a month, fucking clean them out. Yeah, preventative maintenance before it gets to dangerous levels where they got to bring heavy machinery yeah, that's out. That's what they did last year. They were here with the fucking backhoe and everything else. Yep, bullshit, yep. So. Next week there's going to be so much rain that they'll have it flooding again. It again. They do it so fast when they got the water. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Yep. Be careful. Yep, have a good day. The road is really nasty, so yes. be careful on the road more than out there. Yep, have a good day, sir. All right, everyone, after talking to that man, I had to re rearrange the camera, so we're going to do another camera alignment. No cars are coming. Ah! All right, this should not be a long one. And just like I told him, we're going to let the EPA know about this once again. All right. Oh, this is going to be an easy one. Wow, that was like the fastest one we ever did because of lack of rain. You know, they're not gonna make it super strong to hold back that much when it's not the water. But like I told the man, with all the rain expected next week, it'll probably be over the road again in a matter of days. When they got water, they wanna store it. And that's why we want the beavers relocated other than getting hit by cars. They're beneficial, they're worth millions of dollars each in water storage but you got to get them relocated to the right spot especially in watersheds for reservoirs watersheds above people's houses during drought the beaver ponds are below capacity meaning they hold back so much water during flooding and they save water during drought beaver ponds are heavy pushing down into the aquifers oh there we go There we go. We will report this thing once again. That was like one of the quickest ones we've ever done at this location. Here's what the culvert pipe looked like just a minute ago before we started. And here's what it looks like now. Let's go over to the other side of the road and see what it looks like. Wow, that was like the fastest one we ever did because of lack of rain. You know, they're not going to make it super strong to hold back that much when it's not the water. All right, here we go over onto the other side. Here's what the other side looked like before we started doing anything. And here's what it looks like now. Very good flow. That pond doesn't have much water in it at the moment compared to times past. It's only gonna flow rapidly like this for maybe an hour, maybe two. It'll be definitely done by the end of the night. Does anyone know what kind of poops those might be? They're full of seeds and berries. Whatever it was is probably munching on raspberries and other things. Here's what this area looked like before. All right, this camera is aligned. And here's what this area looks like after. Pretty big difference, camera number two off. And this was a pretty short video because there wasn't much of a dam. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody.
Thanks for watching and have a great day. Supposedly, this is the first sunny day in Connecticut in almost a week because of all the Canadian wildfire smoke coming down here. You know, the last time I mentioned Canadian wildfire smoke, I don't know why so many people are mad at Canada for it. Maybe because of their management and not stopping it, but people on the east coast of the United States are just not used to it. People out west in the United States deal with this thing basically every year, and it blows up to Canada. It's just doing the opposite this year.